everyone and welcome to this video. Kleena here and today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question 5 from this Junior Cert higher level paper. This question is based on area and volume, so let's get right into it. So at the start of the question we're told that a balloon pump is made from a cylinder and it has an internal diameter of 6 centimeters and a height of 20 centimeters, and we can see that in the diagram. We're told that each time the pump is pumped it passes one full cylinder of air into a balloon. So the first thing that we're asked is to show that the volume of one cylinder of air is 180 pi centimeters cubed. So we're going to use the equation for the volume of a cylinder and we can find that in the log tables. So here on page 10 of the log tables we can see that the volume of a cylinder has the following formula and that is pi r squared h. So let's use that in our question. So I'm going to write volume is equal to pi r squared h. So what is the radius of the cylinder? So the radius is half the diameter, so the radius is 3 centimeters, and the height is 20 centimeters. So the volume is equal to pi r squared, which is 9, so 3 squared, multiplied by 20. So 9 multiplied by 20 is in fact 180, and you can double check this in your calculator just to be sure. So 9 by 20 is 180, so the volume is equal to 180 pi centimeters cubed. So that's question A done and for this question you're going to get a total of five marks. Let's now move on to question B. In question B we're told that Dara is inflating a balloon in the shape of a sphere. So now we're moved on from cylinders we're now dealing with spheres. When fully inflated the balloon has a radius of 15 centimeters. We're asked to find the volume of Dara's balloon when it's fully inflated, give our answer in terms of centimeters cubed and in terms of pi. So basically what we're asked here is to find the volume of a balloon which has a radius of 15 centimeters. So let's go back to page 10 and find the formula for the volume of a sphere. So here you have it on page 10. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So I'm just going to copy down that formula and now I'm going to fill it in for the radius is equal to 15 centimeters. So I have volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi 15 cubed. Now it asks us to leave our answer in terms of pi, okay, so all I'm going to do is multiply 4 over 3 by 15 to the power of 3 and leave it as pi centimeters cubed. So I have 4 over 3 multiplied by 15 to the power of 3. So the volume of the balloon is 4500 pi centimeters cubed. Now let's move on to the second part of question B. We're told that Dara pumps the pump, and you'll remember the cylinder pump, every second. We're asked to find how many seconds will it take Dara to fully inflate his balloon. So to do this, we need to remember the volume of the balloon. And the volume of the balloon was 4,500 pi centimeters cubed. And the volume of the pump. And the volume of the pump was question A. And that was 180 pi centimeters cubed. We're told that he pumps the pump once every second. So how many times is the pump going to go into this? And that's how long it's going to take in seconds. So we're going to get 4,500 pi divided by 180 pi and see what we get here. And that's 25. So 25 pumps of the cylinder, of the cylinder pump, are going to go into the balloon. But he pumps the pump once every second. So that's 25 pumps, which is 25 seconds. That's how many seconds it'll take him to fully inflate his balloon. So between question B part 1 and part 2, you're going to get 10 marks. Now let's move on to the final part of this question, question C. He also pumps the pump once every second and his balloon is fully inflated after 50 seconds. Find the radius of Gustav's balloon when it's fully inflated and give our answer correct to one decimal place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the volume of Gustav's bigger balloon and then I'm going to use that to find the radius. So if I just scroll up here to the last part of our question, this was the volume of the original balloon and this was the volume of the pump. Now, we're still using the same pump, so we have the volume of the bigger balloon, so I'm just going to call that V, divided by the pump, the volume of the pump, 
and that is equal to 50 seconds, okay? So 50 pumps. So let's find the volume of this bigger balloon. So the volume is equal to 50 multiplied by 180 pi. So the volume of the larger balloon is 9,000 pi centimeters cubed. Now, this isn't what we're asked for. We're asked to find the radius of Gustav's balloon. So we'll remember that the volume of a sphere from our log tables was four over three pi or cubed. So let's use this to find the radius. So four over three pi or cubed. So the volume of the balloon is equal to 9,000 pi centimeters cubed. So because that's in centimeters cubed, we know that our radius is going to be found in centimeters. So let's isolate the radius. Let's isolate the R. So we're left with R squared is equal to 9,000 pi divided by four over three pi. And let's work this out. So we already have 9,000 pi here in my calculator. So I'm gonna divide it by four over three pi. And to get pi on, if you have the same calculator as I do, press the shift button and then press the middle button on the bottom row, which is multiplied by 10 to the power of x. And you can see above there, there's a yellow pi symbol. So or cubed, is equal to 6,750. Now, again, we're in the situation where we have R cubed, we don't want R cubed, we want R on its own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the cubed root of both sides of this equation. So the cubed root of R cubed is equal to the cubed root of 6,750. It's just like the square root, only it's the cubed root. And there's a button on your calculator for finding this. So to find the cubed root, you're gonna press shift, and then you're gonna press the square root button, and you can see here, it's three, so it's the cubed root. So the cubed root of 6,750 is equal to 18.89. Now it asks us to give our answer correct to one decimal place, so 18.9 is perfect. So the cubed root of r cubed is just r, so the radius is equal to 18.9, and that is centimeters. So that's our final answer. And for this answer, you're going to get five marks. That's all for this video, guys. I really hope that this video was helpful for you and that if you had any questions involving this exam paper or this question, that it's cleared up now. So I'll see you all in the next video.